Morning folks, this is Tuesday morning for me. And the soap of the day it comes from, by the way, of Wet the Face, Nirvana. And I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. It's a very soft soap. It uh, didn't take a whole lot to scoop some of the uh, <laughs> shaving soap out of there. As it goes for the scent profile, I've got it down below. And it is on the, get it right here. It is on the label right there. I'll try to read, but I, I remember parts of this, so I might miss it. So if you want to look at that down below, this is supposed to be uh, earthy moss and oriental florals, and it finishes up with a touch of amber. If I've got that straight, <laughs> that print's pretty small for my eyes. <laughs> at any rate, this is pretty good stuff. Don Donald, he's he always puts out good soaps, in my opinion. Got the Allen Block. Still no rubber band. <laughs> I got the unscented witch hazel that's methylated. I also got the matching aftershave. Still using the Shaven Sailor beard oil. For some reason that seems like a tongue twister for me. And uh, I've got it whipped up here in a wooden bowl from uh, Distinctive Goat. This one here is the uh, walnut one. What it looks like on the inside. It's got grooves on the inside. Got it whipped up here with a uh, brush that was uh, fixed up by the way of uh, Strike Gold Shave. This is a fuller brush. It's got a batch knot in it. And uh, this knot always does such a great job. It soaks up all that lather and then it turns right around and releases it pretty well. I like this brush. I have another fuller brush just like this one here except for it looks like it has the original knot which is long a tall loft there we go here's the shaver of the day this will be shaved too with the marvel uh, razor made by the way of fine accoutrements and today the blade of choice is the gillette silver blue so we're going to see how uh, we're going to see how this shapes up to the derby blade i used yesterday or you've got to put a hot towel to the face. Going to use the uh, pre-shave soap here. Yesterday's shave was quite surprising with the Derby Blade. Because for me, Derby Blades, even when it comes to uh, using them in a shave bed, it's, it's hit or miss. There's sometimes they get great shaves and sometimes not so much. And yesterday's shave was one of those days that it was, it was a really nice shave. Might be more due to the... Uh, razor itself. I'm going to find out today using the Gillette Silver Blue. I have every expectations that the uh, shave is going to go well because the uh, Gillette Blue I haven't had a bad shave with it. In other words no matter whatever shaver I've used it in it seems to always do well. Maybe it's made its match huh? We'll find out. By the time I got done with the shave yesterday and wrapped up my postings and whatnot, um, I guess you might say I really realized that this was a, a pretty smooth shaver. And uh, there was a comment on yesterday's uh, Scotty. Yes, I think if I remember right, that Scotty mentioned, <laughs> and I'm right there with him another razor that you're drooling over but you really don't need <laughs> and I kind of I do know what he's talking about because fines both of these razors that fine offers right now I really don't need them but I sure do want them it smells great I can actually smell it some days my nose you know it only works part of the morning It's really been struggling the past couple of weeks with uh, drainage. There's lots of soap lather in here. There's, pl there's plenty just left in the brush alone. Pass number one. But, um,
if you do have a few shavers. This one here reminds me of another shaver. I've got a few others too that it reminds me of. But this one in particular does make you wonder. You look at this one here and if you have ever shaved with a uh, Edwin Jagger DE89 if you ever had one of those and first time I got mine I picked mine without the uh, without any lines on the uh, handle or anything like that smooth and shiny just a fantastic looking shaver Fit and finish, just really happy, proud I got that shaver. Boy, I was just like, wow, this is this is a nice shaver. And it is. Smooth shaves. So if you're wondering how smooth, about a smooth, in other words, if you've shaved with a D89, the shaves are just as smooth with it as it is with this shaver here. In my that's my experience. But to me it seems like this shaver here, this marvel is more efficient than what the D eighty nine is. That's my experience. Yours very well could be a lot different. Because a lot of this may depend on what kind of blade you're using. Technique, where you're at with your development of your technique. Your beard growth. Whether your beard growth is um, thick or your whiskers thin. So on and so forth. In other words, there's variables. So a person's experience with a razor as well as the blade. That's the reason why they say your, your mod may vary because it very well may do that depending on your experience. So, but it does give you a good idea when another, whether another wet shaver gives a, his or her, her opinion shares their experience with the shaver but boy howdy this sure is a lot of fun to shave with this one for me it falls in that category of um, almost effortless you still have to pay attention to your angle but since it's already set like that as opposed to like this. I think for a number of shavers that might help them out. Especially if you're just starting out. I guess you might say it'll help out with the technique. Knowing what angle you should be at give you a chance to uh, get that muscle memory built up. Don't know what angle that is. They may have said on the website, I'll have to look again. That or my memory might have been fuzzy with another one. I'm pretty sure, I think it was this one I was looking at. Kind of gives the angle. Maybe it wasn't the angle, it was just showing how the relationship of how the cap and the base plate and the blade, how all that's in relationship. I might have been looking at another razor. I looked at a few of them. Speaking of razors, and maybe perhaps mild razors, this one here, like I say, it's efficient, so don't, don't confuse it 
with uh, something that's going to take four or five passes to get a BBS if that's what you're after. This one here, by the time I get done with my third pass, is good enough for me. And um, it's a, how you say, a tad bit closer, more efficient than the, the DE89. And when I say a tad, that's only because I'm saying that there's, in my trouble spots, in other words, I'd have to have a touch-up pass, but nowhere near as um, obvious when I'm feeling around on my third uh, after my third pass with this shaver with a marble as opposed to like a D89. I have not shaved with a Merker uh, 34C so I really can't speak to it. Don't have that shaver just yet. So at some point in time I know I'm going to get it. Uh, just haven't done so just yet. But what I'm working up to is the uh, late yesterday evening I was on my phone looking through the notifications and I had uh, there was a few out there and one of the postings was uh, from a gentleman that goes by the way of not sure how you pronounce it, because um, I'm thinking it's um, Cal, that's K-A-L, Shaves. And uh, he's on Instagram. I saw his posting. And I noticed that he's on YouTube also. He's got about five or six videos up. And uh, one of the um, videos was an unboxing from uh, the sorted distorted cheese, and um, that wasn't the first video I, I, I watched. It was uh, he was doing a comparison in between uh, Phoenix Artisan accoutrements. Uh, new single edge uh, injector and uh, the vintage chic injector and uh, see there's just a there's just a little bit there um, and I thought he did a pretty good job anyhow you might want to check him out some of you have already noticed no in other words, Red Island Shaver, you know who I'm talking about. You've been there. Yeah, uh, right there. That's a trouble spot, but it, there's just a little bit there. I mean, it's it does not take much. There's not quite as much there as like there would be. The shave. This blade... There's a little bit more of the blade that I could feel. Feel the blade a little bit more on this shave than I did with the uh, Derby. I think this one here, of course, you know, with the, this one here is known to be a bit sharper than a Derby blade. We're kind of, kind of splitting hairs here. <laughs> there is a difference. Is it that much of a difference? And is it bad thing I don't think so there's not much watch out to hit those two spots <laughs> it's pretty smooth but yeah there is a di there is a difference in the the shape feel the blade feel when I'm shaving with a uh, Gillette, Gillette silver blue and the derby so if you do have some derbies hanging around <clears throat> excuse me um, and you decide to get this shaver you might want to give that derby a try you may have, uh, that derby blade may have just found its favorite razor. Shave feels pretty darn good. I mean, it's, face feels wonderful. Of course, you know, the soap helps out a lot. Post shave feel, in my opinion, with, uh, with the face has always been pretty nice. And the soaps, you get about four ounces in the container. And, um, uh, going price of, uh, Don's uh, soaps are, uh, 12 if I remember correctly. And he's got the Autumn Scent soap available. I know last year, 
Matter of fact, I need to get on it here pretty soon before he sells out of it again. I was able to get the um, the aftershave, but I missed out on the soap. So maybe this go around will be able to get the soap before he sells out of it again. He's a lot like Frank at Strike Gold Shave. He's got small batches, and so uh, soap like Autumn, or if you're looking at uh, later on when he comes out with his Christmas scent, I'm assuming he will. But in other words, anything that's that seasonal, you're probably going to want to get it pretty darn quick because he's not going to have another batch until probably the next season. Frank, uh, if you're interested in one of Frank's soaps and you think and you look on the website and you missed out, you might want to let him know that you're interested in um, uh, that particular soap because um, he does make small batches and uh, from time to time he may bring a particular soap back in other words due to popular demand but Frank is one of those kind of uh, guys when it comes to his soaps they are a truly small small batch I'm wanting to say 18 could be wrong but I think I remember watching one of his videos on Instagram and that's where you'll catch a lot of his videos is on Instagram uh, I think, think if I remember right, it was 18 is what he had mentioned in one of his videos. Um, I guess you might say truly a small batch type of guy. Which is to me pretty cool because, you know, it's uh, when you're talking about a uh, small artisan just starting out, it is nice to see them sell out of their, uh, of their wares. It means that there's enough uh, demand for it. And he's not got a lot of stuff sitting around collecting dust menthols definitely feel it around my eyes <laughs> yes I know eventually this bottle is going to come up empty I am about it looks like halfway through it right now gonna be a sad day because eventually I've got some others I'll get to and it may be a while I don't know I like this uh, I like this witch hazel with menthol it's uh, that cooling effect on the face it uh, it is really nice I got some fuzz there from the towel I, it just right now it's still it's doing this magic right now This is a, uh, okay, if you're not familiar with uh, Don's uh, aftershaves, they come in a glass container. This is glass. Restrictor, I guess you might say, is pretty much typical, normal, as it goes for the size of the hole. Looking at what, roughly, was it 3.4 ounces? Yeah, kind of typical for the, the size. Even though the shape of a Barbasol, not Barbasol, but a, uh, Barbado, the shape of Barbado is like this, but it's a much bigger bottle. 6.4 ounces. That's a big bottle. That's good stuff. This this scent, I really like this scent. I picked this one for for this reason. In other words, in case you might say I was missing this scent. There's another one I've been kind of missing is uh, Into the Mystic, I think is the name of that one from Don. Gonna be smelling good today. As it goes for um, <laughs> aftershaves, soaps, seasonal. <laughs> soaps aren't seasonal for me or the aftershaves. <laughs> it's whatever mood I'm in for. <laughs> That's what I shave with. I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart here. And uh, even though the knurling here is well rounded, for me, it gives me just enough grip. It does get, I can understand somebody, you know, if you've really got wet hands. If you're using this in the shower, it probably is going to be problematic for you. It, um, there's the blade. Still a smooth shape, but it wasn't quite as smooth as with the Derby. I think that's because the uh, sharpness of this blade was more prevalent. 
If you're not familiar with the Gillette Silver Blue, on one side there is those dots of uh, glue or wax, kind of sticky. Comes double wrapped. But these these blades work well for me. Not a bad shave by any means. Boy, this was a pretty nice shave. I've got links down below. I'll include them like I usually do on my videos. And uh, hope everybody's doing well. Tomorrow's, I think tomorrow, if you're kind of waiting, tomorrow we'll go ahead and use the Voskhod. And uh, we'll see how it works in the uh, in the Marvel buying accoutrements eraser. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooth shakes to you.